What's up guys? Today we're doing a settings guide on how I get better frames in Rainbow Six Siege for the year 2025 going into 2026. So this is going to be relevant to 2026 as well. So I'm going to be talking about all my frames and what I run on and uh, going through all my graphic settings that you guys can use and copy. And uh, let's get to it. So here's how my game looks and runs. No frame dropping. I have it locked at 430, which we'll, we'll go through how to lock it and uh, runs extremely well. I have it set to 1440p. Now let's go through all the settings of the game. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys through all the settings that I have changed and why I've changed them. Sun effects, white glare, you're gonna to wanna to turn that to dark glare. When you get flash, it's, it'll be dark. You'll be able to see quicker when it's on dark. So tinnitus, I have it on ringing. You said it's muted or wave. Oh, really is up to you. Here, I wouldn't really change too much. HUD, I have normal. I can go through this. If you want, I'll, here's what I have. Not too much to say there. So now, here's where we start to get into some, a little bit more of the settings. I have it set to low. And then tonight, it's, I have it on ringing. You can also put it on wave. It, really, it will make it sound a little different, but low is like the old night mode. High is like the other one. And I have it on, obviously, night mode. So master volume, I have it set to 50 because my game gets really loud. And you can raise and lower this depending on, you know, it just raises the volume up and down. And I have like a little sound thing on the side that actually raises the volume anyways. So that's why I have it set to 50. So it doesn't blow my eardrums out, but don't worry about that too much, but definitely low. Yep, okay. Display. So the reason why my frames could be interpreted as slightly lower is I have it set to 1440. You do not need 1440. I have it set to 1440 because I stream I definitely think that most people should be playing on 1080, but 1440, I get more pixels on the screen, so the stream looks a little bit better, but I do have the 5090 now. But before I was running the 3080 Ti, and then the 4080, and I was still running the same settings. So, 360 FPS, I'm on 4390 FOV. I'll just play 93, boom. So there's all that. Graphics, so super important now on the graphic settings. So. Reflex low latency, I have it on on, not on plus boost. Here I have texture on low, because honestly, you can raise these up if you have frames to spare, but like I want to prioritize FPS counts so my gameplay is better over graphics. So I'm not really focused on graphics because for me, I'm already set to 1440. So my graphics are already going to look a little bit better because it is on 1440 mode. So I have everything set to Bare minimum here. So if you're struggling with frames, I would definitely go through this. Low, max, linear, low, low. Now shadow quality is, is a weird one. Like I highly suggest having this on medium or high, but not on low because there's times where shadows are going to give you like a preview that someone's about to swing you. Definitely gonna help you win firefights. So I definitely suggest having this at least at medium. Low, 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 everything off and low. So here I actually have TA on and then you know, 100, 100. But if you are struggling with frames and you're not quite too sure what to do, you can turn on DLSS, but I wouldn't, I would try to stay between balance and quality. The farther you go this way, the more your game is going to look like crap, but it will boost your frames. Like ultra performance, you're gonna get a ton more frames, but the game is going to start to look like crap. So. Balance is like the point where it's like, it doesn't really imp like change what the game really looks like, but it will give you more frames, but it, you will notice some things. And then the further down the right you go, the more you're going to see. Quality is, you know, is going to be a little bit better than, I wouldn't go on auto and I wouldn't, I would try to get away from ultra performance. So I'd go between performance, balance, or quality. If you need to use DLSS, again, I would only use this if you are struggling with frames. Currently, I'm not struggling with frames because I am running a 5090. So I, you know, that's part of the reason why, because I wanted the stream to look better. I wanted my clips to look cleaner. So that's why I did that. All right, controls. Not to do crazy here, but I will go through, you know, all the settings as I go down the line. So I'm on set to 800 DPI, 5.5. Five. Here are my um, gun speed hold. Draw input on. ADS sensitivity here, I have 40, 50, 83, 85, and 130. I'll go through the rest of the settings so you guys can see what I have. 
controller settings on PC. I'm not really going through that, honestly. Privacy settings. Accessibility. That's too crazy. Uh, new season, you will be able to change your team colors too. So that'll be interesting. I'll probably be using my team blue, the other team purple to kind of match my, my colors. So those are all the settings. So if you are having problems with FPS, one thing you can do is try limiting your frames. You go into the game folder, which will go to documents, my games, Rainbow Six Siege, and click on the, you know, the game, it'll open up a text file. You'll set the FPS limit here to whatever you want to lock at. So that's why my, my frames don't go over 430 because I have it locked at 430. Otherwise they could, you know, it could go really high. And then like on the lower values, it could go underneath. So there's no need to write, like have it way over like hitting the 600 FPS when I'm only displaying 360. Because again, your monitor can only see, like let's say you have a 144 Hertz monitor. There's no point in running 500 frames if your monitor is only 144 you can only ever see 144 but if i was set to a if my monitor is 144 i'd probably set my frames to like maybe lock it at 200 so it doesn't need to be a runaway train here's actually a big one i i wasn't aware of until i had a lot of people come to me with this issue go to your task manager control delete and go to your memory and make sure if you have, let's say I have 6,400 RAM speed, make sure that you are actually showing that you are using that RAM speed. Otherwise you need to go into your BIOS and use your XMP or Expo settings if you're AMD and uh, actually turn that on. Uh, you, it doesn't come in default. So if you haven't, if you've no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you're set to your RAM speed. If not, there's a quick guides on how to find it in your BIOS when you like go on YouTube. It's not super difficult to do. All right, next you're gonna go into your graphics on your system settings. You're going to go down to Rainbow Six Siege and make sure it is on high performance and don't let Windows aside or go in power saving. Turn on high performance so you're getting the most optimization for you the game. Next, you're gonna go into your power plan. You're gonna click advanced power settings and it'll pull up this bar and make sure you have it set to high performance. It'll use more power, but uh, you'll get more power out of your rig now we're going to go into the game files here's where my game's installed i'm going to go to properties i'm going to go installation open folder it'll open the folder on the side scroll down to rainbow six you're going to click this you're going to go to properties compatibility and then you're going to disable full screen optimizations and you're going to run this program as administrator all right now we're going to pull up the nvidia control panel and i'll go through this slowly so you guys can see everything but i will just i'm not going to talk too much about what i did here but i did a lot of research and trying to really maximize my frame so you guys can copy this if you want i'll go through it slowly so we can pause when you and go through it see what works for you everything there cool make sure to go here adjust image settings with preview put down the performance and when make sure you know if you're having problems with your with your monitor make sure you're going to change resolution and making sure that you click uh, your actual frame rates You'd be surprised how many times i've had to tell people that now a couple more settings you're going to go to system display graphics you're going to go to advanced graphics settings you're going to turn this on and then you're also going to go to startup apps to pull this up so you can go through this and turn things off that maybe don't need to be on when you boot your computer up it will save you ram and cpu usage so definitely suggest going through this every now and then and making sure that you have things on or off depending on if you need them or not like here i have my r6 stats is turning on automatically i don't need that i need it on when i need it on so there you go. All right, here's another important setting to uh, turn off that it's going to be automatically turned on. Enhanced pointer precision. You're gonna go to mouse properties, go to enhanced pointer precision. Make sure this is off. Because what that does, let's say I scan to the right like this. If you have this off, no matter how fast you do it, when you get to that point, it will be in the same spot every single time. But when you have enhanced pointer precision on, depending on how fast you swipe, your mouse will go farther. Your cursor is going to go farther in the same spot every time to make it like, so it's not going to be like super consistent with your swiping. If you swipe slower, it's going to go a lot slower. If you swipe fast, 
it's going to go further than you would think. I don't know how fast you swipe. Turn that off. Just turn it off. It's going to be hard to build any type of mouse aim with uh, this on because you're not really going to know exactly how much to swipe every time because enhanced board precision's on. All right, guys, that's it for today. Just wanted to make another guide on settings and everything. Like, honestly, not too much has changed since my last video. I just wanted to kind of update everything, go through, show you guys what I'm running, what I'm currently using, and kind of just like go through everything again um, to just really talk about what I have. Because I'm, I'm asked this like multiple times a day. Like, I need a settings guide. I need this, I need this. I'm like, okay. so. Here's the settings guide. Here are the basic settings that you can run to get more frames in your rig. If you have any questions, don't be afraid. Just post them down in the comments, like what you're running, like, so like what your graphics are, et cetera, like your GPU, what's your CPU, RAM, all those things. And then what your issue is. So if you do that, I'll try to comment and uh, help out. And if you guys are, you know, going through the comments, so you guys know the answer, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, help out others. So. Uh, yeah, that is it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like, and make sure to hype up the video for YouTube for the algo. All right, love you guys. Peace out. Till next time. Operation Tenfold Pursuit. Here we come, baby.